Hey beautiful people, it's Rakina back with another video. So in this video, I want to talk to you all about um, the thing that you need to do when you are repairing your credit or you're trying to get accounts removed from your credit reports. Now, a lot of people, they just think that you have to just send in dispute letters, but I have found personally in my experience, plus with other people that I work with it's like inside of my membership, I have found that the best way to remove these accounts from your credit reports is by removing the addresses from your credit reports. So your additional names, your additional addresses that you have on your credit reports, you really need to get those removed right away. Now I got a comment asking, how do you take our past address on the credit bureaus? And I'm guessing it was watching one of my videos previously where I talked about removing accounts. So I wanna show you guys again, how to remove these addresses um, from your credit reports. Sometimes when you, order your annual credit report from annualcreditreports.com. When you or order your annual credit report, you will see additional social security numbers too for you. So those additional names, addresses, social security uh, numbers that's on there, extra phone numbers, you wanna get all that removed. Plus you may see extra date of birth. So all the extra information you have on there that's not yours, you really need to get those removed. So let's go through how you can actually remove these different names and addresses from your credit reports. So the best effective way I have found to get these removed is simply by calling the credit bureaus. So definitely make sure you call the credit bureaus. You have Experian, Equifax, and TransUnion. So make sure you call each credit bureau and you have them remove those additional names and addresses that is on your credit reports. If they do not remove this information, then it's gonna be hard for you to get accounts deleted. Now here's an example of seeing like the additional information that can be on your credit reports. If you can see, I blocked out a lot of the information. Um, they don't have, they just have their um, credit report date. That's the first line, their name, that's the second line. The third name is also known as, they don't have anything there. Sometimes you may have names there that you need to get removed. Maybe it's your maiden name, maybe it's um, a different spelling of your name. You need to get all of that removed. Um, former fraud alerts, I definitely, um, suggest you get that removed too. Make sure your date of birth is right because sometimes you may see that your date of birth is not right. So while you're sending in letters, you wonder why they're not fix fixing anything is because your date of birth is not even right in their system. Um, also, you see addresses and current addresses. So the first line could be your current addresses, but these, you can see it kind of just how big it is. But that first one with Experian, you could tell that those are not the same addresses. So they need to go in and make sure that they have the correct address with that credit um, with the credit bureau. And I always tell people to put an address there or get an address that you have not had any negative accounts with because it's gonna make it easier to get your accounts removed also. And then previous addresses. So they had an address on 22nd Street that need to get removed from Experian. Also Townsend that need to get removed, 48th Street and 39th Street. They, all of those addresses need to be removed from the credit reports because most likely all of those addresses have negative accounts attached to them. And then they only have one employer listed for TransUnion. It's up to them if they wanna get that removed or not. Um, when you are in the process of getting sued a lot of time, a lot of companies will pull your credit reports to find out where you work. Oh, excuse me. They may find out um, where you work and then they may, you know, sue you and try to garnish you at your job. So I usually tell people to remove that. You can always add it back on when you apply for a company, like when you apply for any um, account, because anything that you put on your new application is going to be added to your credit report anyway. So they're going to add on a new employer anyway. You can have that removed off if that's what you want to do. But that's one way of having that um, your addresses and stuff deleted. Just call the credit bureaus and say, hey, I have some addresses that's on my credit reports that should not be on my credit reports. I also have names and I need to get them removed right away. Now, let me tell you now, Experian is going to give you the hardest time with doing this because they know that like, they even have like a, um, a ID number, like they have a a number attached to your addresses and they know like if you they remove those accounts from your credit reports your accounts that's negative that you want to get removed it's going to be so much easier to remove those accounts so they're going to say no that address is yours we're not taking it off and if you have that problem what i do suggest you do is send out a letter to the credit bureau certified so here is a letter that you can use go ahead and screenshot this that, that way you can actually go ahead and send this in to the credit bureaus to have them remove those different names and addresses from our credit reports. So go ahead and put your first 
um, full name and your first and last name, your current address, your social security number, your date of birth, and then the date that you're sending out this letter. Again, this letter is to remove those addresses, um, phone numbers, additional names. That's what this is, to remove those from your credit reports. And you're going to want to list that information. So the reason you see right here where it says reason, this is where you're going to want to put like the different delete the where it says reason and just put your different names your different address put that different information right there in that spot but it says after looking at my credit report reports i noticed some errors with my personal information below are the problems with my personal data thanks in advance and don't work too hard please also send me an update copy updated copy of my credit reports so that's just you telling them hey are you seeing some properties i mean some problems and you want to get it deleted that's all that is. And then um, I know that you want proof of my personal information that is listed above. So I decided to include a copy, include this information to the letter to make it easy for you to delete the inaccurate personal information. Please go ahead and fix the inaccurate, the inaccurate information and get back with me as soon as possible. So usually the credit bureaus have 30 days to respond to you any disputes that you sent out. So we're assuming they're going to take that long, but sometimes they may get back to you sooner which is why we put, um, if you can update me sooner, that would be better. So just go ahead and list your different reasons right here. And you can just list like the different addresses. That That's exactly what you want to put right here, the different addresses, the different names, the different phone numbers, social security numbers, all information that you did find, um, find out. Now, I do suggest you get your credit reports from Identity IQ, but you also can go to annualcreditreport.com. The thing I don't like about annualcreditreport.com when it comes down to disputing is this. If you were to get your credit reports from uh, um, annualcreditreport.com, then they have 15 additional days to process your disputes. And that 15 additional days could be hard on you because think about it like this. They have 30 days to respond. If they don't respond in 30 days, that means that the companies did not verify them with account, those accounts and then they have to delete those accounts from your credit reports. But if you get them 15 additional days, now they got 45 days to process those disputes. And usually giving them extra, giving the companies those extra days, they will get it done. So you don't want to give them ad additional days. I would just tell people to go um, look down in my description and go to Identity IQ, get your credit report, get your credit reports from there because you can get it there for a dollar for the first seven days and see exactly what's on there. And then you could just go from there and dispute. Once you dispute, they're going to give you a copy of your credit reports anyway, a full copy of it. So you don't have to worry about, you know, I'm not going to have a full copy. You're going to get a full copy of your credit reports from Identity IQ anyway. So that's why I tell people to please just, you know, call the credit bureaus, have them remove those addresses. If they don't want to remove those addresses from your credit reports, then you go ahead and send this letter in to the credit bureaus and ask that they remove it this way. But honestly, this is the best thing that you all need to do. This is how people are eating in bankruptcies, collections, all the different accounts like removed from their credit reports is because they're going this route and they're having to remove this additional information. So you see a bankruptcy got deleted from the credit reports. Some student loans got removed from the credit reports. Another bankruptcy removed, student loans also included with that. Um, Navy Federal, Best Buy, Discover, all of those accounts that were once negative got deleted because it was attached to those addresses. But once they got those addresses deleted off, it was easier to delete the account. So definitely check this out and let me know if you all have any questions. But this is going to be the way that you have to go to really get these accounts deleted, like the Jefferson um, Capital Systems deleted from the credit file. So Credit One Bank removed, Capital One removed, Community Bank, um, New York and Company, Rain Lion also. So yeah, these accounts can um, be removed from your credit reports. You really just need to remove those addresses. But hopefully this video helped, especially that person that asked me the question on how to remove the address from your credit reports. This is exactly how you remove those addresses from your credit reports. Let me know if you guys have any questions. Thank you.